final example, let's assume this uh, reserve ratio of 10%. So if a bank has deposits of $100,000, so that means it's a liability of $100,000, and holds $10,000 as reserve, so that's the required reserve ratio, um, you know, how much are its excess reserves? Okay, so meaning that, let's say $90,000 uh, was lent out. It, it, you know, it lent out $90,000. Then how much of that $10,000, assuming an RR of 10%, well, well, if the RR is 100,000, okay, again, times the multiplier, which would be, um, actually, there's no multiplying right here. So if it's $100,000, you know, 10% of that is going to be 10,000. That's the required reserve. So if the ratio is 10%, so the RR equals 10%, the required reserve is going to be ten thousand dollars. Well, if the total is ten thousand, uh, the excess reserve zero, excess reserve. So there is no excess reserves. So if a bank puts himself practically in this position, it's kind of a precarious situation because chances are, if someone takes out a deposit, then they're they're going to have to borrow money either directly through the Fed or through the Fed funds process. Uh, because they don't have the money, so they're going to have to meet the requirements set by the Federal Reserve, and so they're going to loan money either through the federal funds rate or through the discount rate somehow. Okay. Now, by how much will an increase in excess reserves of twenty thousand generate in the money supply using the money multiplier formula? Again, very simple, simple equation. You have twenty thousand dollars in excess reserves. Uh, multiply one over RRR, which is point one. And again, the multiplier is going to be ten in this case, so. You have 20,000 uh, times 10. So the increase in money supply, according to the money multiplier formula, is going to be $200,000. So again, this is assuming that there's no leaks and um, you know, the money is multiplied fairly rapidly. But in the real world, you, know, you have money multiplier formula of 1.9. In, in, in times where people aren't spending a lot of money, then it might be closer to 0.8. Um, what a disaster it would be in our economy if our money, money multiplier formula uh, was 0 0.1 or, point, or, or 0. If people uh, weren't uh, borrowing money, uh, the way we have our economy set up through banks, uh, it would be a severe shock to the system if uh, you know, people just stopped lending, if banks for some reason stopped lending out. Um, it shows you how reliant our economic system is on understanding this banking process and kind of navigating through the system. Thank you for watching educator.com.